Hey everybody, Dustin here with the WebEx Room Devices team. And on this episode of the WebEx Edge, we're actually going to show you how to share wirelessly from your WebEx Teams client on a PC. So let's go ahead and get started. So here I am on my laptop, and I've got the WebEx Teams app opened here. And you'll see that uh, Stephen Strange, which is our user, um, has been talking to the rest of the Avengers. Um, and in this process, we decided that, you know what, we're having a meeting and we want to be able to do some sharing. One of the first things you'll notice is that in the app, down here at the bottom left-hand corner, um, you'll see that I'm actually paired to a device already, and it's called the WebEx Edge Board. And that's the system that I have right behind me here, and you can tell by the name on the top of the system. So what we're going to do here is we're just simply going to share to it. Now, when I hit on this, it's going to bring up a couple options for me. Now, for a board, uh, we have the ability to open up spaces, and we're going to cover that in a different video. But for this one, to keep it straight and simple, no matter what device you're paired to, you will see this share screen option. And we're going to click on that. The next window that's going to pop up is, is a great window, and it's something to kind of talk through. So here you have the ability to share your entire screen or you can specify a specific application. So in this example here, we've got a couple screens that are tied together. There's an app here, and there's also this WebEx Teams app. Where this could be advantageous to you would be if, let's say that you're in the middle of a call or in a, a meeting room and you're just doing a local share, um, whatever you share, you may not want to share your entire desktop. You may just want to share a specific application. So for example, PowerPoint. I want to share PowerPoint, just see that um, on the screen or in the, the call that I'm in. Um, the nice thing about this is that if I have uh, an email pop up or a message come through or something else that might pop up on my screen, the far end or the people that are seeing the screen in the, in the room, they're not going to see any of that. They're only going to see the application that you actually share. So for the sake of this uh, demo, I'm actually going to share a screen. And just to kind of show what it's going to do, I'm going to hit screen one. And then you'll notice, and we'll go to a different view here. On the back here, we have the wireless share that's getting started, and this is my desktop. So if I move around here, bring up my application again, um, you will actually see it show up here behind me wirelessly. Now I'm going to go back to my uh, PC view here. And one thing I also want to show you is that while you're in a share, while I'm actually sharing my entire desktop to the system, I actually have the option now to make some changes. So up here at the top, I can hit stop, which will obviously stop my share. Or if I hit the share icon again, it allows me to come back here and make a different selection if I want to change. So if I want to go between two applications or go from one screen to another or a screen to an application, I can easily do that here. The last thing I want to point out real quick before we end this video is these little uh, checkboxes up here. We have the share computer audio and the optimize for video um, boxes. Share computer audio, pretty straightforward. If I want to send a share, but I also want to be able to send some audio with it, so maybe I'm playing a, a video clip or an audio clip, if I click on that, the audio from my laptop or my device will be sent to the share, and everyone in that local room or anyone that's on the meeting will actually be able to um, listen to that audio. Additionally, we have the optimized for video icon here, and we'll put some more links in here to, dis to discuss what these actually do. But what optimized for video is going to do is give you the 30 frames per second share on your wireless share. So now, if I am sharing a video, I would want to click this to where I'll get a better, smoother uh, video experience for all the people that are in my meeting or in the room locally. And this is all going to be done wirelessly. So again, if I'm just doing a PowerPoint or if I'm just doing something like an Excel sheet, which requires you know, very crisp, sharp images, I wouldn't use this checkbox and I would just do a normal share. But again, if I'm wanting to do a video, click on that, click on your audio, and bam, you're gonna have an amazing video experience. So thanks for this, watching this video with us. We're gonna do a couple more. Um, the next one we're gonna do is going to be around how to do the wireless sharing with the WebEx Meetings app, um, which is gonna be very similar, um, but we're gonna do it in a separate video. So be sure to check back and like the video. Thanks.